We're doing our Halloween special episode and today we're going to show you how to make a special treat. My favorite is a cemetery dessert and I just want to share it with you guys and enjoy this fun time of Halloween. We're going to start with our ingredients and we're going to need a Pyrex glass pan 9 by 13 and this is by the way a non baking dessert it's just you just mix it all together and you let it set in the fridge and it's ready so it's going to be a lot of fun and it's easy for everyone to make this dessert and we're we, we're gonna need this we're gonna need the candy pumpkins we're gonna need some candies that I've gotten from lollipops I pulled them from lollipops the skulls and bones that's gonna be fun to to put on the topping of the cemetery to make it look more scary and you're gonna need one package of cream cheese an eight ounce and a vanilla pudding you're going to need a whole package of the Halloween Oreo. That's the Halloween version is the one that we're using. You're going to need some confectioner sugar, one cup. You're going to need two cups of milk. I just put it in my milk holder here. And you're also going to need an 8 ounce Cool Whip. And th these are the cookies that I've crushed. And you can use your mallet to crush these. That's what I've done here. And uh, you need to reserve at least 10 or 11 pieces just for the cemetery later, for the graveyard site. Uh, so, so we're ready to go ahead and uh, mix everything together and let's make this dessert. Okay, yes. we're gonna start with whipping our cream cheese in the bowl. We're gonna whip it. This is the eight ounce cream cheese that I put in the bowl. And what I'm doing is I'm just whipping it a little bit to soften it, to mix in with our other ingredients. Okay, you just keep doing that until it's a little softer than from the package. Okay, and we're gonna set this aside. And then next, we're going to come over here and we're going to mix the pudding and the milk together. This is the one package vanilla pudding. And the two cups milk. We're just going to incorporate it together and whip it until it gets a little thick. We're just gonna keep whipping this until it thickens a little bit for about two minutes. So it looks pretty thick. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this and mix it into the cream cheese mix. We're gonna pour it in there together. Okay, I think we got most of it in there. And we're also going to mix in our one cup powdered sugar. And also we're going to put in and mix this together and put in our whipped cream. Now we're going to mix it all together in there. Mix everything together to make a, a yummy feeling. Okay, we're just gonna do that until everything is mixed together with the cream cheese in there. Don't worry about if it's a little clumpy. It's still gonna be good. It's as perfect as you can get it. 
And the first step that we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. We're gonna go ahead and take our crushed Oreos. And the first layer is gonna be your crushed Oreos on the bottom. You're making it like a, like your crust. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use our hands and try to press it on there. Put in a layer of the cream cheese mix. And then you're gonna make another layer. We're gonna spread the cookies again. Crumbled cookies. There we go, till we get it all even in there. And that's about even, right? Okay. And we're gonna put another spread of our vanilla pudding. just dripping there it's gonna have to sit in so that it'll get a little hard that looks about good and we're gonna crush some more cookies to put on top there we go that's the last of it and then we're going to go ahead and pour in our last topping of the cookies. Now you could just probably go in there and it's easier to just use your hand like that. So you can crumble it a little bit more. Yes. I like getting my hands dirty in there. This is going to be so delicious and it looks so much fun making this. Your guests are going to love this. Okay. Now we're going to decorate the topping and make it look like a cemetery yard. So we're going to take the reserve package that you have, the 10, 11 pieces of of Oreos and we're using the Halloween ones the Halloween versions from Oreo okay there's eight ten eleven okay what you're gonna do you're gonna cut the edges like this one but you're gonna have to do it slowly because um, it's very fragile you can crack the whole Oreo if you do it too fast so we're gonna do it like a saw, like this. See how it didn't even crack the the Oreo. So we're gonna do it slow, like a saw. There's two, and we're gonna do about eleven of them. We're gonna cut the edges. Okay. There's three, and we're just gonna do all these until we have about 11 of them. There's four. Okay. Now we're going to start burying them in there like graveyard. See how that looks like neat? Looks like tombstone. Isn't that great? Okay. Now we're gonna put our pumpkin candies. Isn't that pretty? Put a few 
few in there. Like a pumpkin patch. And then we're gonna put our skeleton. Where should we put it? One right there. And maybe one in the middle. You can mess with this any way you want to, the way you want to do it. And there's three of them. And then we can scatter some, some skulls and bones. Skeleton. There we go. Isn't that fun? There we go. We have our complete cemetery yard dessert. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to let it set for two hours in the fridge and it's ready to serve. Okay, we completed our treat and we made it and we chilled it for two hours and this is our completed dessert that I hope you all enjoy and um, we'll see you again. Happy Halloween. Thank you for watching Florida Lisa's Kitchen. Take a look. Really awesome.